I'm currently walking on Winchester Hill, a site that lies on a chalk ridge running through the Meon Valley in Hampshire. And it's an SSSI and a nature reserve. But I'm not here to show you the bees or the flowers or even the sheep. I'm here to show you this, an Iron Age hill fort. This area has been occupied by people for over 8,000 years, first being used as a trail to walk over the Meon Valley by Celtic tribes. There are several layers of history here. The first people to settle came here about 3,800 BC from the surrounding tribes, but there was a heavy period of activity from between 2,500 to 1,500 BC, in which a lot of Iron Age people came and set up this hill fort. A quick fun fact about this place, it's actually laid on top of a Cretaceous layer of marine bed that's about 64 million years old, yet quite unexcavated, but adds an extra layer of history. There are also some Bronze Age barrows that are inside the hill fort that clearly people built their settlement around. These barrows date from between 4,500 and 3,500 BC and in fact the site at Old Winchester Hill specifically has potentially been in use from as far back as 6,500 BC to as recently as 100 BC showing a heavy overlap of usage by various different people for over 6,000 years. But this hill fort was very strategically placed to overlook both the Meon River and the Solent so they could see who was coming towards them and were able to attack, prepare and be ready when they needed to. It's also just got quite a nice view, I wouldn't mind living here myself. Now unfortunately for archaeologists this site has not really been excavated so we don't know as much about it as we do about sites like Danebury for example. However, it was built along the same chalk ridge as St Catherine's Hill and Danebury. So it's likely that life and the purpose of this place was very similar. It was also thought to possibly be a ritual place of worship for the surrounding tribes of the area. There's also a large ditch that encloses the area which added extra protection. Now the chalk and flint barrows and mounds here would have originally stood out like white little dots in the landscape. Now obviously grass has grown over but they still look quite unusual. Now during the Iron Age there would have been several roundhouses that would have dotted the top of this hill fort too as well as animal enclosures which there is evidence of but it's not quite so visible on the surface as the barrows obviously. However, Celtic field systems that were in use from 2500 to 1500 BC can still be seen today. You can kind of see the faint outlines of roundhouses from aerial photos, but that's about it. Now unfortunately this site was used as a test firing range for ordinances during World War II because World War II officers just loved to choose archaeological sites to detonate their explosives <laughs> but luckily I don't think too much was damaged. There are still unexploded ordinances beneath the surface but it's a very low risk of them actually exploding and the sheep haven't managed to set any of them off yet so it's probably all right. In addition to the ridge enclosing the Iron Age hill fort there would have been a wooden palisade or a inner wall with a v-shaped ditch i.e this one that would have helped to protect the people inside. Here is a reconstruction of what the site's Iron Age settlement would have probably looked like. As you can see it is a fairly typical looking settlement for its time and was possibly one of the best locations along the southern chalk ridge of England to have built a fort. Here is the main entrance to the fort, situated on the eastern end of the site. It would likely have been guarded by the high embankments that you see to the sides, bridged by large and heavy wooden doors protecting the fort's inhabitants. Ignore the noise, but that's all I've got right now. Thanks for watching.